Um... I guess that was paranoiac. I didn't think that there was anything going on. What the hell? ending by her trying to get treatment for depression. Game! I'm not accepting that. Let's go talk to Mira again, guys. Okay, let's just speed through all of this dialogue. Here we are, guys, back to the decision. Yeah, let's try what happens if I choose the other one. I can't even consider that it's just a fantasy. Don't you, don't say that if you haven't seen it yourself. It, it really is a monster. Okay. Just leave, get out. I don't want to see you or anybody. Just stay away. Oh. Good on you, Shinji. Still a good man. That thing is no hallucination. It it definitely exists. Okay, time to go talk to Mommy Dearest. Blah, 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 blah. Just have this little talk with mommy. Who is... You do not deserve somebody as awesome as Miki. I mean, I've been running away from monsters for a couple days, and you just pretty much shunned your own sister. And was probably one of the contributing factors to her depression. So, screw you, mommy dearest. And not in the good way. Preferably with a screwdriver. A power drill. Ha, that's even better. Power drill. Yes, yes, yes. Back on day five. Okay, how's it different this time? I hear something. Is it that monster? Where's it coming from? Okay, saving here. Back into this room. There's the monster, just like before. Uh, uh, what is this? Is this the same lines as before? It can't be. I, it's, it's your aunt. Hi. Gotta run! I have to to hide. Holy shit! I'm controlling this. Into the basement! Into the basement! Totally going into the basement! Nope! 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 Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! I'm not controlling this anymore. It's it's a dead end. Th there's nowhere to hide. Time to die, honey bun. dead body of my aunt? How are you doing? No! Stay back! Stay away! Teddy bear! Aww. A uh, bear? 
Meek oh, it was for her. It was a little bear for her. With really, really bad photoshopped on name. Uh, uh, the, this stuffed bear. It was for you. Why do you keep reporting every little thing to me? I don't care about your child. Oh, That's her aunt? She looks so pretty! I'm sorry, sister. It's just I wanted to tell someone, so who else would I? My child seems quite healthy. It's rather late birth, so I was anx anxious that it might go, but... Hmm. You love to boast, don't you? About how you marry such a rich man and live in such harmony. There we go. There's a bitchy voice for her. Unlike you, I'm a very busy woman. Don't bother me with your nonsense. Auntie. Oh my, Miki. It's been a while. Are you done with school for today? Yeah. Is your baby gonna be a girl? I'm giving her a kitty voice. Well, I don't know yet. But I get the feeling it will be. So I'm making lots of stuffed animals. Though if it's a boy, maybe he won't care for him. I don't think so. If you made them, Auntie, anybody would like them. Is that so? <laughs> Thank you. I know. I'll make you a stuffed animal. I'll make a stuffed animal for you too, Miki. Ah, uh, but you're in high school, so maybe you're a bit old. Oh, she's. I was giving her a kitty voice too. Back to normal voice. <clears throat> N no, I'd love to have that, Auntie. Would you really? Of course. I'll make you a cute one. Look forward to it. Oh, but if Mom found out. I think she'd be really mad. It'll be fine. I'm sure she'll accept a present. I'm sure she'll accept a present to my lovely niece. Thanks, Auntie. Aww, they had a nice relationship. That's cute. And she's dead now, facing a horrible, horrible monster. That's right. This stuffed bear. It was from Auntie to me. I was looking forward to it, but not long after, Auntie's child died. Oh, Why couldn't your Auntie be your mother? So much better. Auntie, I'm sorry. Oh, honey bun, when you were suffering most, I didn't help you. I was scared of mother. I let you die, Auntie. Oh, honey bun. B but, oh, crying again. I, I always, I've always loved you, Auntie. Oh, well, I predicted that. I wanted to meet your child. And once you finish this bear, I was going to cherish it. I even became a writer because you loved books and you taught me so many. Don't cry, Auntie. It was rough for you. It must have hurt. You hate me, don't you? Are you mad that I that I let you die? I for you, Auntie. I do anything. And then we die together. I love you. Auntie. Um. Mira. I'm going to eat your soul. That there must be Shinji. Hey, Shinji. How you doing? He did come running. Mr. Mira. 
Miss Takamura, oh, thank goodness you've come too. Sorry, I was so worried. He didn't answer the doorbell, so I came down here. He just invites himself inside, doesn't he? An ambulance will be here soon. I'm glad you came too. I shook you, but he wouldn't wake. Miss Takamura, are you crying? I remembered. I forgot so much, but I remembered. Someone very important. Oh, I was weak. I couldn't do anything. So I couldn't help her. But I did love her. And I'm very glad. So I'll be fine now. Oh, I remembered that even I, even I could be loved. And then Shinji says, I love you too, though. We will make beautiful children. Since then, strange things stop happening in the house. I was examined at the hospital, and they discovered I showed signs of schizophrenia. Okay. I still didn't know if it was real or a hallucination. But now I don't really care which it was. But wait, in the bad end, then what killed her? Er, okay. Don't think I forgot anything. Shinji? Have you come to move in? Or am I moving in with you? Mr. Miura, why are you still calling him that? What is it? Er, uh, uh, I heard you were leaving, so I came to see you off. You're going back to your parents? Situation sounded complicated. Yes, I'll be going to the hospital often. And there's a kind doctor near there. I won't get I want to get better with my mom. Even though she's such a bitch. She needs to go to counseling, you don't say. I see. What? Ah, uh, well. I'm in love with you, obviously. Seems unfortunate we'll be we'll be saying farewell so soon. Don't worry. Once Mom and I are doing better, I'll come back here for sure. Uh, really? Yes. It's the house my auntie left me. I'd love to live here if I could. So I see. I'm glad. I'll drive you to the station. No ta Not many taxis come out here. Thanks a lot. That would be great. You got yourself a boy, mate. I'll be back soon, Auntie. I just got a weird vibe from the fact that she said, I'll be back soon, Auntie. Like her aunt's somewhere in the house. Still. Well, there we go. We got the good ending. Even though the bad ending was her seeking treatment sooner. Not sure how I feel about that. But anyway, that's Paranoic. It's a nice little game. You can get it done in about an hour and a half or so if you don't die 500 times against the first encounter with the monster. Good end. There we go. And you've seen both the good ending and the bad ending. I pick it up, play it yourself. I have trouble with sounds. Sounds freak me out more than images usually. And there was a lot of sounds in this game. Good sound. Good. Good sound. Anyway, I'll see you with the next Let's Play, which, now that I've gotten Resident Evil 2 all fixed and ready to go, is going to be Resident Evil 2. See y'all later!